So yes, let's go again and glue our stuff. So now with this one, I'm going to have to uh, kind of talk a little bit um, and, you know, open the glue and do everything between. So we're going to do everything pretty quick and fast so we don't have too much smell uh, into the room. So let's go ahead. So we have our two pieces right here, simple pieces right there, and we're going to put them all together. All right, so we have our barge right here. So sometimes these barges are so tough. They're like so tough to open. Uh, sometimes I do use like, these kind of pliers right here so I can like, just open it through. So let me go ahead and do that. Woo, there you go. Also, when it's in summertime, you definitely want to keep, if you have these outside or anything, you want to open up a little bit because it, um, it is a bit flammable. It's a flammable uh, adhesive, very flammable. So you want to uh, open up a little bit, crank up a little bit, so uh, no gases get stuck in and then explode or anything like that. You definitely want to do that. So, open up. So... Now with these, they also have uh, brushes, so you want to first, you know, get like a light amount. You don't have anything too heavy that's dripping all the way down. Um, so we have that. Now, we take one side, and then you lightly put it over, went in like that, so thin enough. Right? Then we get another glue on the uh, on the uh, other foam right here. So we do the same thing, just lightly brush. There you go. Then you can put your brush back. So now we're just waiting for it to dry. So it's usually it takes about, I'd say, two to five minutes. Um, you want both sides to dry off, you know, uh, before you connect them together. So, just kind of, you can sometimes wave them up a little bit so it cures a little faster on um, both ends. Now, what's happening at this point is uh, your adhesive is getting more tackier. And tackiness is a good thing because now it's basically going to st stick together. Um, or the two adhesives are going to stick together and then become one because the glue is now sticking onto the foam or it's hooking onto the foam kind of thing of like just kind of easing its way into the foam and then uh, once you get these two other sides together then it's like boom total connectivity or you're kind of like almost having two glues at once so Let's see, just waving up a little bit to make it dry a little faster. <laughs> it's kind of like a little dance here. Let's see. And let's see. Now, one thing you want to check for is uh, make sure, you know, that's, uh, you know, slightly shiny uh, and, oh, okay. It's not too wet or anything so you should be able to kind of like feel okay it's a little tacky so and you know it's nothing on your hands or anything like that um, but if you do get some on your hands just rub it off uh, you know it's it's not uh, not too bad on your hands just kind of rub it off you know kind of like um, like wood glue if you had wood glue on your hands you just kind of rub it off and then it comes off so um, yeah you can do that so now it should be about dry. I think it's about two minutes already, or I don't know about time, but it should be about two minutes. So let's go and put them together. So, so now you just take, well, I usually like to connect to the edges first, right there, and then close them like that. And then maybe make sure you pressure them, make sure they're in, and then, 
once that's done boom it's connected now of course you got to wait a couple minutes to you know make sure it's all fully together but for now ah, it's on together so that's the way to glue it you can also just kind of close it in like that and also to uh, a way to glue it together so there you go so let's put this piece down let's work on the next one or the next uh, adhesive which is super glue now with super glue um, let's see here like CA glue like this right here it's gonna be a very quick uh, gluing process so of course like I said I'm gonna show you how that works right now all right got my super glue right here my CA glue right here this little bottle then I also have my uh, foam right here my other piece right here so we're gonna glue it but we're not gonna do it the kind of same way we did it with contact cement since this is going to be a fast drying process it takes about 15 seconds to basically connect together so we want to be really fast but we also want to be precise so let's go ahead and start so I'm going to take one side open the CA glue sometimes make sure that the nozzle is not clogged up or anything so you go I just if you can slightly uh, make it breathable or if you can hear like little bubble sounds then you know that your CA glue is basically uh, free from any kind of grime or anything like that so like okay so let's go and get some glue on so you want to put a small amount you want to put it over the edges or anything you just want it small bit into the middle so let's go ahead small bit into the middle let's see I don't... Dun, dun, dun. Shake a little bit. <laughs> All right. Usually, like the thick CA glue because uh, it's much more controllable and much easier to put on than the the wet version because it gets so crazy and cranky all the time and then get that together pressure make sure it's like in there yeah and should be done so then you have to wait, you know, maybe 15, 30 minutes for a few full cure, but that's how you glue CA glue together. So uh, the one reason I don't like about CA glue is, like I said, it's too cranky or it's too dry. So it's not a flexible adhesive. So when it's on something, it just kind of eats away against um, the, uh, the fabric or I guess this is the foam itself, uh, but usually, yeah, it just gets, it's too dry for me. It's not as flexible as contact cement. Uh, with this CA glue, it has a tendency to be too dry. It's too dry for my taste. Because, um, like, if you pop it out, it'll just completely pop out. Where um, this other piece, the, uh, the, contact cement piece it's flexible so it will stay on there even when you're flexing around the point ends right there where CA glue if you bend it a bit much it will snap off kind of like that basically so that's one of the reasons why I don't like using CA glue but you can still use it for like I said the small emergencies or if you're putting fabric over uh, foam so there it is. So now we got two adhesives down. It's time to go for the last one if you want to glue your uh, foam on foam or put the foam pieces together. So let's work on the hot glue. Now with hot glue, you have to find an outlet. Or if you have one of the more portable ones, you just you know turn it on. So how you turn on the hot glue gun is you gotta plug it into the outlet. So find yourself a local outlet and plug it in. 
Alright, we found a local outlet. Alright. Now, you gotta play the waiting game. So, the waiting game is... You gotta wait about five minutes for this uh, tip to heat up. So then you can actually shoot the hot glue stick through the nozzle. And then you can put it onto your phone. So, we gotta have to wait a little bit. So, see you back. Or, yeah, see you coming back. So, see you later. Or, be back in a few minutes. Alright, so, how we check if the glue is coming through is, you just take a little bit of foam and say, okay, let me squeeze the trigger. So, there's a little trigger right here. And you squeeze through and you say, alright. Alright, looks like it's about ready to go, right? So, um, this is what the hot glue looks like. If it can focus, come on. Yeah. Anyway, so that's hot glue right there. So, like I said, it's very hot. You don't want to start touching it with your hands or um, you get blisters, quick blisters with that. So you definitely want to be a little careful with hot glue. So, ooh, just like I, just like I said, you want to be a little careful with hot glue. Uh, but when it cools down, then you know, everything's basically all right when it comes to uh, the hot glue itself. So, um, you will note that my uh, hot glue has been through some uh, crazy projects. I've used hot glue to make wigs. I've used hot glue to glue, um, you know, on fabric, on foam, foam on fabrics, fabric on fabrics. So it does get a little messy, so, but what's nice is they are affordable. So usually there are below $10 you can get them at the store. You can probably even get um, the glue sticks and the hot, um, hot glue gun for, like I said, 10, 15 bucks. It's very affordable. You can definitely get, get these uh, kind of everywhere. Uh, that's like I said, that's one of the nice things about uh, hot glue is you can kind of get them around everywhere and they have multiple uses. Um, so let's go ahead and glue some EVA foam. So this time I'm going to use some floor mats this time. So of course because the first uh, cosplays I've uh, made helmets for and stuff was using a uh, hot glue. And you know, now I'm using contact cement. So you do change up in time, uh, especially when you feel more comfortable with uh, using um, much more stronger adhesives. So let's go ahead and use hot glue. Do, do, do. So first, let's see if we can get focused. Do, do, do. All right. So we're going to uh, glue a bit. Like I said, we're going to try to glue into the middle as possible. Not over on the sides or anything, just in the middle. So let's go ahead and start. Now, like I said, nozzle, trigger, get it through. Let's see here. So, find it in the middle. Just a little bit, right? Like there. Now, get your other piece and start working it. Now, what's nice about high temperature is... Uh, it's ability. Okay, let's see here. Uh, what's nice about the high temp uh, hot glue guns is uh, you have more work time to put pieces together than low temp. Low temp, you gotta be really immediate. Um, so that's something to really consider. So we gotta hold this piece a bit for a while. Uh, I'll probably say like 30 seconds. 30 seconds to a minute um, to get a good hold on you know you want to put a little pressure between your uh, hand and the other hand just kind of like just focus you know Let's see Let's see if it's together all right so yep yeah. so now we got the pieces together look at that Oh, I think I glue better uh, be, you know, now than before because I used to just put all over the edges and then put the pieces together. Because a lot of times when you're you are you when you are using hot glue, you want to prevent from over usage, or in other words, 
uh, overdoing uh, the foam piece because if you don't then you get um, all this kind of extra um, hot glue uh, sticky mess um, on the outer ridges so you don't have a clean seam it just looks really really rough or just you know kind of looks awkward because then people could say oh look this guy's got hot glue uh, on his arm and you can clearly see it you want it to the point where you can't see it much at all so you definitely want it kind of like this way <laughs> so to show you again um, all the pieces that are glued today here is contact cement or barge cement right here like I said what's nice about it is it gives off nice clean seam uh, together right there very nice then we have the CA glue or the super glue um, like I said decent results um, but the only problem is if you over flex it it will uh, kind of show itself so please pay in mind, just use this for emergencies. And hot glue. I'm really impressed with how I did the hot glue. Because <laughs> I, like I said, used before, uh, when I put the pieces together, it used to just, uh, the glue part used to always stick out. So I definitely did a better job uh, using um, the hot glue this time. So yeah, this is hot glue result. Yeah, not too bad, right? Also, has a bit of strength too, so you want to consider that. But sometimes I like using uh, hot glue for um, making like these uh, closed gaps inside uh, the foam. Like, well, I guess it's something I'll have to teach you later. Um, but it's also a nice way of kind of re-strengthening inside the, uh, the armor. But that's, like I said, another, th another time, another thing to uh, kind of show you the good uses of uh, hot glue. So definitely want to uh, check that out later when I, I guess, post that up. So definitely great options for gluing. But if I was to just be more honest to say which ones I would get first, well, I get first the, let's see, what is this one? Okay. <laughs> I won't be the one to mix up anything. So first, the first ones I really want to get is the contact cement. Like I said, you can get these for four to five bucks uh, over at Walmart. You know, any kind of home improvement places. That's kind of like the number one you really want to get. Then hot glue. That's the one you really want to get. Like I said, for multiple projects. So definitely invest yourself in ones, like I said, $10, $15, that's what you're going to be mostly investing in. And then, the third place goes to uh, CA glue. Let's see. Oops, don't want to mix that. CA glue right here. <laughs> it's interesting, you can almost, almost not tell the difference between CA glue and uh, contact cement. But to be honest, I know, I know the reasons. Why some people do not use contact, um, CEA glue um, or hot glue. Yeah, it's it's too crimply. Like it's it's not flexible enough in a sense. Because um, even with hot glue, you have a slight amount of flexibility um, with the connections. In of course, with contact cement. So definitely get your contact cement and get your hot glue. And then get your CA glue or your super glue as a backup uh, adhesive. So, there you go. So yeah, take care guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, you can like, share, subscribe to this channel. Boom, boom, back, boom, back.